here we are with summertime rendering episode 19 so yeah if you like what you see leave a like subscribe or comment let me know what you think and i would say let's get to the episode yeah what happens now <clears throat> what the fuck you can't control crows I guess that was Heine, right? What the fuck? <clears throat> so yeah. Will be interesting to see what happens now. Ushio is not here anymore, it seems like. And she played a big part. With her power to break the bonds between Heine and Shadows. And not only because of that, but she was also strong and very helpful. I mean, how do they want to beat Shide now? Because Shide is also very fast, very strong, can block bullets and all that shit. Shooting a shadow does nothing. He can just get a gun out of his shadow and just shoot and kill people. So, yeah. Oh, what's she doing? Oh. Again. Didn't he say he, could, he got him a bit more time out of it? Now he's at the edge again? She can just summon shadows? What? This is so weird. Why should she wait? They just stop in midair. <laughs> Better get the fuck out of here. <clears throat> oh, 
What did she thought he had? Oh my god. Didn't she just made a copy of him in the forest? Yeah, and this also. Yeah, she made multiple copies of him, or like, Snapped him multiple times. Who? Oh. Well, you don't sound like me. <laughs>
This is so fucked up. Oh my god. <clears throat> <laughs> of course, it's something like that. They have not much use for him. This is so bad. <sighs> How, oh yeah, they have two of them. I was wondering, how is he here? And this is a... Oh.
Yes, he did. <laughs> Good, she should die. Oh, you can also do some shadow shit. But why did you miss the first time around? <laughs> ah, did it work? I don't think so. How does that work?
Yeah, it feels like he's not human on the inside when he has this going. Oh my god. Okay, that was episode. Let me know what you think. But yeah, this is a super dire situation, right? <sighs> I'm wondering. Why did Heine retreat at the beginning of the episode when she saw that uh, Shinpei had his hands in his his head in his pocket? What did she thought he would do that she would retreat? <clears throat> I mean, it can't be that she thought like, oh, maybe he has something in his pocket with which he can kill himself, because. That would just be to her advantage, right? Because she wanted to kill him anyway. So what could it be? Hmm. Maybe she knew that it was the shell that he has in his pocket that is Ushio or that was Ushio. But this is not the one that is Ushio because Ushio is dead. So it's just a normal one. So <clears throat> I'm a bit confused about that. I hope we get some enlightenment later. Um, and then we had the scene basically where we saw that uh, Shadow of Mio got nailed to the ground because real Mio thought she would be against us again because Ushio is dead. Which I mean, could be the case, right? So I don't blame her for it, but yeah, kind of unfortunate because it's not the case. The, the Shadow of Ushio is still on our side. And the whole thing that Heine copied him and does a call to lure everyone to the position where she wants them to be and splits them basically up. I wonder why she hasn't done that before. Why is she doing it now when she could have done it all the time? Because there were so many occasions where she did like a snapshot of a copy of uh, Shinpei, right? Hmm. But maybe she never carried it over to the next timeline. But I mean, even then when she did the copy, she could have done that maybe. I don't know. It's I don't know. Um... And then, <clears throat> yeah, it's kind of crazy that both um, Shides can basically transform into the shadow, into the shadow form, right? Because they can get this mud out of nowhere, basically, and it, they can't even sense it as a shadow, right? It seems like it's nothing, so they don't sense it as shadows. Um, <clears throat> and it's so crazy that, that there are two of them, right? Two Shides that can do both the same shit. That's so crazy and kind of unfair if you... It's, it's just unfair, right? <clears throat> because they are so strong. They are very resistant. They can't be killed by attacking the shadows. They are super durable. They can make shields to block shots. They can create guns to shoot with it as, as with a normal gun and kill people easily with it and all that shit. And like we saw now, it's the end when <clears throat> um, when uh, Nagumo uh, hammered his head. His, you you would imagine that she would hit his head, but he can just like his body, even under the mud, can for some reason lose consistence and just become like like a fluid and go somewhere else like we saw she hit him and then it just like went into like a fluid form and went somewhere else to Heine and like just build itself up again right so even the body underneath became like a f must have become a fluid form to be able to do that right so that seems kind of weird he is human underneath I guess not if, if he can become like fluid and and become like a weird thin line of something and just go somewhere else right it's it's kind of weird <clears throat> um and yeah also interesting that last episode or so shimpe was like oh he woke up and just like oh my time limit 
has not moved much, so I should have a few loops left now. I made some time now, right? And now he dies one time and it's like, oh, the edge is behind me again. So much for I made some time. I have a few more, I have a bit more leeway. I have a few more loops. Yeah, no, nothing happened. It just, oh, one death back to the edge. What the fuck? It's like, dude, what is going on? That is the one thing where I, like, the Shire, that he can, that the body underneath can become some fluid form, right? Because otherwise his body must have been crushed, uh, crushed, or his head, or if his head didn't got crushed, because maybe he just, like, moved inside the mud body, maybe a bit down, so that the head part was empty, maybe, <coughs> so, so that the head is here, his real, his real head, and here's the mud head, and she smashes mud head, and the body was underneath, right? So that it got pushed on a little bit, and because the mud body is way bigger than his actual body, right? Um, that I can understand, but that the whole mud thing can just become like a fluid thing and fly through the air somewhere else and just rebuild, reconstruct. That must mean the body inside the real body also becomes like a fluid form, like I said. Otherwise, you would see a body flying through the air, right? But that didn't happen. So that's bullshit, I would say. And that one death means already you are at the edge again when last episode they said oh i should have a few more loops or whatever or like at least one more loop than before but yeah no back to the edge immediately from one death that's bullshit number two that's the two things i feel like that's some bullshit <laughs> that's like some twisting the plot that you are kept in suspense right here that's the two things so far where i'm like yeah that seems like twisting logic and all that stuff a little bit to make it more uh, intense. But yeah, otherwise, we will see. Nagumo now wants to fight without restraints, right? At least Ryunosuke should fight without restraints and says that she, that they can beat him. <clears throat> but I mean, if they beat him, then there's still Heine left, right? And I guess she's not completely useless either. I mean, <clears throat> also, she can just out of nowhere do a weird scream or whatever and suddenly there appear dozens of shadows out of nowhere. Why didn't she do that before? <laughs> right? It's... Uh, yeah. Some weird stuff is popping up. But okay, I mean, we will see how it goes. And I feel like this situation is super dire because now we have two Shides that we know of both are fighting one is fighting against Suo, Suo or whatever and Mio and the other one is here fighting Nagumo and then yeah they basically basically got lured into a, into two traps because they in uh, because they faked Shinpei so yeah and I mean Ushio is gone and I would say, from what it looks like, there is no loop left anymore. If he dies again, he's gone. So, it seems super dire again. What are they gonna do? I guess we will find out in the, uh, find out in the next episode. So yeah, if you like what you saw, leave a like, subscribe, or comment. Let me know what you think. And I would say thanks for watching. Until next time. Bye bye.